Hey everybody, today I'm going to come at you with a quick two minute hack for you to reduce your stress, improve your thinking, your decision making, your problem solving, all that by just taking two minutes. So it's going to take you a few more minutes to, to listen to me right now, but then you'll be able to use this two minute hack to truly, and I mean it, to it's so simple and to change how you interact. So we all know when we get in those fights with our partners or our boss, or we're just super stressed about something and we're, we're up in it and we're, you know, tripping on it. This is for those of you <laughs> who ever have anything like that, or you're just having an upset or something you're thinking about a lot. So what's happening when you're in that state and I talk, I'm going to throw a little science at you, but I'll make it really simple and we'll, we'll get right through it is that your sympathetic nervous system is turned on. Your sympathetic nervous system is in charge of your fight, flight, or freeze, right? When you come upon a snake in the woods, it'll fight, it'll come at you, it'll attack you, it'll slither away, it'll flee, or it'll freeze. <laughs> it'll hope the danger will pass and get very still. You do one of these things. You start to fight, or you run away, or you freeze, hoping you procrastinate, you say nothing, yes, dear, whatever, becomes your decision. And what's hard is that when we're in that state, we can't access that part of our brain that problem solves, that thinks things through, our long-term planning, our all that good stuff that we need. We can't, like, think of it. We can't access it. And you know this, this is happening to you because two hours after an argument, you go, oh, I should have said X or oh, I wish I had said Y or I, I'm so upset that I, why did I think this? And we do that because of this way our body works. So what we've got to do is actually change our physiology first. And there's a way to do that. That's really simple. And it's by turning on something called your vagus nerve. And your vagus nerve is basically um, how can I say it? It's like, it's the really the 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 prime the main driver for your something called your parasympathetic nervous system, and your parasympathetic nervous system's job is what we call the rest and digest. Uh, so that's you know when you're calm and you're just eating and you're fine and you know you're resting and you're in that nice space. Or we also now call that part the parasympathetic nervous system our tend and befriend. Uh, this is when, when we were back in the clan, when we would uh, want to have close relationships with other people and we'd want to connect and, and we still want those things, right? But we especially wanted it then for survival. And uh, today, uh, you know, that's really why it's a prime driver. So we want that parasympathetic nervous system turned on as much as possible. Makes sense, right? And you already know this. When you get really upset, you're not hungry. Your stomach kind of drops out. You feel nauseous, maybe sweaty, uh, shaky, any of those things. That's all because of this sympathetic nervous system being turned on. And you start to get stress-inducing hormones that flood into your system, such as cortisol. I'm sure you've probably heard of that. Well, when you... Uh, activate your vagus nerve, this part of your parasympathetic nervous system, when you activate it, you shut down all that other stuff, all that craziness, and you actually get in a different state. And, and there's some brand new research that's come out. I mean, new, like in seven, 2017, 18, I think there's even some in 2019, but I'll go with 17 and 18, uh, showing that having a longer exhalation, exhalation, right, a longer out, actually activates this vagus nerve. So any kind of deep breath does, uh, it kind of turns it on a little bit, but if to really get some bang for your buck, you want to really get it, get it activated, right? And the way you do this the best is this, that you take a breath in for four seconds, a count of four, and through your nose, and you breathe out through your mouth through kind of like a pursed lips, sort of, we always say like you're blowing out birthday candles, you know, like that. Uh, for eight seconds, a longer exhalation than the inhalation. And what you can do is, so that's 12 seconds, right? Four in, eight out. Five of those would equal a minute, right? So five of those would equal a minute. And obviously, 10 of those would be the two minutes. And that's what I want you to do. Two minutes of these exhalations. You always have two minutes, two minutes, people. Two minutes. If you're having a fight in a restaurant, go to the bathroom for two minutes. <laughs> if you know you're at work, close the door for two minutes. If you're wherever, you know, 
you can find two minutes to do this and it will really have so much bang for the buck. And you can, you know, count them on your hand or however you want to do it as you're doing it. You, you know, it's nice to close your eyes. You don't have to though, because you could even do this while you're driving and you can really take that energy in and Again, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Through the mouth, like that, breathing in and out. Do that for two minutes and you'll stimulate that vagus nerve and you'll actually feel calmer. You'll reduce your stress, your ability to problem solve, to think clearly, your cognition will go up, your decision making, all of that in just two minutes. So there you go. That is today's connection quickie because when you do that, you can connect to others, you can have good relationships, you can think better, you can, it's all good on the other side of stress, right? We all know that. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for listening. I'm Dr. Abby Metcalf. I help people create lasting change in their relationships in a relatively short amount of time, even if their partner won't do a thing or anyone else for that matter. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you soon.